Hello, welcome to my channel, and this is our third video about uh, JavaScript fundamentals. Uh, in this video, we will introduce the building blocks of uh, JavaScript. So here is talking about the code structure, and uh, for the code structure, you can think as the building blocks of uh, the code in JavaScript. Uh, which, which means when we write a JavaScript program, what kind of things will form a program? Okay, it will have uh, statements. Uh, wait for a second. It will have uh, statements, and the statements will have uh, syntax constructs and commands that perform actions. Like if you want to print something into a console, and here alert is a fun is a method which will have a pop out as we see. Uh, I think uh, in last video, and uh, they can be separated with a semicolon, which is a semicolon at the end of each statement. It will have a semicolon. Like here we have one statement and two statement. Okay, and uh, after the first statement we have a semicolon here. Usually statements are written on separate lines to make the code more readable. You can put them all of them in one line, but mostly we will separate them as this little diagram show you, okay? And here we have two statements and uh, they are uh, both called alert methods and uh, you will see hello and will be popped out and after uh, confirm, you, then you will see the word being popped out. And uh, for each statement, we have we separate with a comma. So here we have two statements. And talking about uh, semicolons, which is uh, this thing, okay? This thing at the end of each statement. Uh, in JavaScript, you are not, it's not mandatory to have uh, semicolons. Uh, in most of the cases, JavaScript, uh, if you don't write semicolon at the end of the statement, JavaScript will give you. And uh, in most of cases, a new line implies a semicolon. But uh, the most of cases, that means always. So here we have alert 3 plus 1 plus 2, right? And in most of cases, okay, JavaScript will think you have a semicolon here, but not always. In our this example, JavaScript will think a new line, like here, this is one line, this is another line, this is third line. It won't th JavaScript won't think you, it's going to have a semicolon here, it's going to have a semicolon here, it's going to have a semicolon here. What does, what I mean, let me show you in one example, okay. Uh, then I have to exit from the presentation mode, discard, here. Mm -hmm. Semicolon demo I have here. So suppose when we're using alert, hello. This is one statement, and uh, you can have a semicolon, and here we can have a word. Okay. So now let's run. And uh, when we run in the browser, uh, let me run again. Okay. You will see hello first. When you click OK, you will see word and OK. OK, that's a uh, lot of doing. And if we don't write a semicolon in this case, it's fine because in most of the cases, OK, in most of the cases, a new line implies a semicolon. In our case here, we have a new line. It will, JavaScript will think you have a semicolon here. OK, so when we run, it's going to have a same behavior. Right here, hello, and the word. Okay, no problem. So in this case, okay, we add a semicolon or not add a semicolon. It's gonna be exactly the same. Okay, but and also in this demo, this demo, okay, not always a new line will implies a semicolon. Like let me show you this this one. Okay. Like we will do like alert one mm, oh, one plus two 
plus 3. Okay, we do like this way. And then now let's run one more time. Hello, word, and you will see 6. Okay, so in this case, and here we for this alert fun method call, we have one line, two line, three lines, right? And JavaScript won't think here we have one semicolon, and here we are not have a semicolon in this case. And here we are, no, okay, the semicolon is gonna be at the end, even though I don't add this one, okay? Even though I don't add this one, and we can run one more time. See, six, okay? And the uh, last one in this slides is, but there are situations where JavaScript fails to assume a semicolon where it really needed. What's gonna be? So it's uh, uh, another demo here. I will comment all others, okay? So let's see the difference. Okay. Here we have a piece of code here. And uh, uh, we, uh, alert, hello, and have a semicolon. And the one and two is an array, and for each is to loop, and alert is a higher is a function passed, which means in in this case, okay, you're gonna see one pop it out and two pop it out. So total is a three, okay. You will see hello pop it out and one and two pop it out. Uh, if you don't understand for each now, just ignore. We just see the behavior, okay. Now let me run. So we see hello, and we see one. And a two and okay, for each means a loop. You will get a one, two, three, four. If it here only has a one and two elements, you gotta get all the elements and then pop it out. Okay, so for this program, we add a semicolon manually by ourselves. Here we man add manually by ourselves. Okay, and now let's take a look at another another uh, demo, which is this one. What's the difference between the two? Let me show you, okay. What's the difference between these two and these two? See here. The only difference is after this, uh, the first demo I show you, after alert, I have a semicolon, and the second one, I don't have a semicolon. So now let me show you the second one. Okay, don't you have a semicolon? And you have, see, hello, and nothing happened. And uh, we talked about if you want to see something happened, you can go to the console. In the console, when we uh, when, when we execute the code again, hello, and you will see an error. The error say cannot read the properties of undefined reading too. And when you click here, you will see it's this line have an error. And the previous one, we don't have any errors, right? This one we will see hello and one and two. And the only difference between this pair of the program, okay, statements, is here I didn't add a semicolon. And in this case, JavaScript doesn't execute correctly. The reason is because not always Java, in this case, not always JavaScript can add a semicolon for us correctly. And because in this case, JavaScript th uh, see here is an array, and for this piece of code, he will execute like this way. Uh, and the result of this one, and uh, then you add. Uh, so when we execute this piece of code, it's kind of like execute this piece of code. Okay, after this one, you get the results, and then you try to uh, grab some values from this result. And for alert function, it's gonna return undefined. That's why it causes a problem, okay? So if uh, you still don't understand, just understand the behavior, which without a semicolon, in this case, it doesn't work, okay? Because we haven't learned about uh, this piece of code, okay? So that is the uh, semicolons. Uh, my personal um, suggestion is I, other semicolons by yourself, okay? Because uh, in this case, it's uh, really hard to debug. Like uh, I just uh, have one semicolon missing here and my code doesn't work, right? Next one. Uh, the last part 
inside the code structure. Yes, you can also have a comments inside the JavaScript. Okay, comment means the JavaScript won't execute them. Okay, and there are two ways to add a comment. One is a one line comment, and the other one is a multi line. One line is using slash slash with two. Uh, forward slash and the multi line is using this one is a starting and this one is uh, the end Okay, so suppose uh, I, like I did I want to comment this one Like you can also uh, I want to comment to this one you can use him uh, Controls forward slash to a comment. This is one line and you could you can also add a multi line Multi line like, let me see if I have a shorter cards. Okay. Multi line, suppose this is a multi line. Yo, then you have, so you add by yourself. I don't know the shortcut in MacBook. Like this way. You can have a multi line. So this is a multi line, okay? Comment. And when we comment, the JavaScript won't execute, which means it kind of like ignore it, okay? So in this video, we mentioned the building blocks of JavaScript uh, program, which are statements, okay? Statements and semicolons and uh, the comments, okay? So that's it for this video. Uh, see you next time. Bye-bye.